This video will discuss general safety information for the Maverick CNC machine and the primary audience for the video is students in a shop class. Now let's go out to the shop and start the video. Hello everyone. This video is going to cover some safety features of the CNC router machine. You are expected to know and to follow these instructions. But before I get started, there's going to be a couple of exceptions, or there's going to be an exception that I want to point out. Normally, this machine will have a dust shoe on it. I've taken that off because I want to be able to talk to you about this router bit. So <clears throat> that's why, that, uh, why the, the dust shoe is off. The router bit is the thing that you want to stay away from the most. These are sharp powerful and fast. To explain that a bit further, let's do a little bit of math. Assume we have this router bit, an inch and a quarter surface planing bit in the spindle. The spindle can spin, can spin at 24,000 RPMs. This means the outside edge of this bit is traveling at 94,200 and 47 inches per minute. Let's assume you had a hoodie tie that was 12 inches long. It'll take you 0.127 milliseconds for the tie to be wrapped up in this bit. Now, what's that mean? How long do you think it takes you to blink your eye? Well, if you guessed 300 to 400 milliseconds, you're right. In other words, your 12 inch hoodie tie will be wrapped up 3,000 times around that bit before you can finish blinking your eye. So, what's the message? Stay away from that bit. It can hurt you, it can hurt you quick. The other thing to stay away from is this gantry. When this thing is operating, stay back away from the machine. The gantry is moved under program control. It's figured out how to move to get the part you want to make machined. You cannot anticipate where it's going to move, so stay clear of it. All general shop safety rules apply. For example, wear uh, safety glasses in the shop. Tuck in any loose clothing that you have on. Jewelry, hoodie strings that we just mentioned are a couple of examples. Cell phones are not to be out and earbuds are not to be in your ear. Long hair has to be tied back. Pay attention to the machine. Don't be horsing around with others. All those are general shop safety rules. Certainly apply to this machine. You also need to know where the emergency shutoff switch is in the event that you need to use it. And that switch is located right down here. It's the red button. If that's pushed in, the machine is in emergency shutoff mode. If that's out, then it's in normal operation mode. The spindle on the CNC machine is less noisy than regular router motors. But if you're around it for a long period of time, or sometimes when you're cutting, there's a lot of noise, and if so, then pick up some hearing protection and put those on. You need to make sure you're mentally focused. If you're sick, if you're sleepy, if you're distracted, you can have injury to yourself or you can have injury to others. We've kind of mentioned this before, but this whole area right here is the work area. Stay away from the work area until the router bit comes to a complete stop. 
This spindle is a three horsepower motor. So in addition to how fast it moves that we talked about earlier, it's got a lot of power. It cannot tell the difference between wood and human body parts. Wait for the spindle to stop before you reach in to the work area. We, in a different video, we'll be going over some operational details. This video is just trying to focus on uh, some safety issues. Make sure the CNC is properly homed. So we're gonna go over this in the operational details, but you're gonna pull it up here. You can get it over here and it's gonna be finding the X, Y, and the Z location. And that way the machine knows where all the bed parameters are. And it's not going to be trying to put the router bit into a place that it shouldn't go. Again, we'll cover how do you do that in operational, but from a safety standpoint, you need to make sure this guy is ready to go before you use it. Know your tool path before you start the machine. What are we looking for there? The tool path is the, the steps that the machine is going to use to cut out your part. You don't want the router bit to be hitting any of your hold down clamps, any screws you may have in there, any other parts of the machine that breaks router bits, that causes parts to be thrown off the machine, so know your tool path. In, in, in addition to that, make sure that your part is securely fastened to the machine bed. We don't want material to be moving around while it's being machined, and we don't want small parts to be flying off the machine because they were hit by the the router bit. If your tool path is going to cut completely through the machine, I'm sorry, if your tool path is going to cut completely through your material, make sure there's some kind of a spoil board, some kind of sacrificial board between your part and the bed. Uh, again, we'll go over some of that in the uh, operational video. know how to properly load and unload this cutting tool. From a safety standpoint, we've already talked about the fact that these tools are sharp. They come with a protective coating on it. You'll wanna take that coating off. It's on there for two reasons. One reason is, as we just mentioned, these things are sharp. When you're changing those, Try to hold it from this shaft. That shaft is, it doesn't have any sharp surfaces on it. Sometimes you can't do that. So you're gonna to try to hold it so that you're not touching the sharp cutting surfaces of the bit. Um, and make sure you take this uh, coating off on a brand new bit. It's on, uh, I didn't finish that. It's on there for two reasons. One of them to safety for you when you get a new bit and secondly, so that the cutting edge does not get damaged in, uh, in shipment. Projects can sometimes take longer than one class period. Make sure if your project is gonna take longer than that, somebody is gonna be around to uh, watch it. There may be uh, bit changes that are necessary, or you may need to um, uh, take your part off the machine and things like that. So check with the instructor to make sure there's somebody available in the shop to watch your machine as it uh, is finishing. Notify the instructor of any kind of damage that you see to the machine. That could be bit damage, could be uh, uh, the machine not operating properly, or anything else. Be sure and let the instructor know and don't use the machine until you've been properly trained on, the, on its operation. As I mentioned at the start, you're expected to know and to understand each of these uh, instructions before you can safely operate the machine.
Thanks for listening.